Hi everyone! Um, first I'd like to say thank you for participating in Equestrian Queensland's Q&A series. Uh, my name is Sarah Jane and what you would like to know from me is my experience in Japan for Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, um, I did a Bachelor of Languages in inter and International Business at the University of Queensland where I majored in Japanese um, and I lived abroad in Japan for a few years before coming back to Australia in 2018 where I started my stewarding and judging pathways with Equestrian Queensland and Equestrian Australia. So I do speak Japanese and I also dabble in Auslan and Japanese Sign Language as well. Um, so in 2019 I was offered, um, I was invited to participate in the Tokyo 2020 Ready Set Tokyo eventing test event. Um, I applied to be a regular volunteer and from that pool they selected me to represent or participate um, there and so I went to Japan and I participated there and it was the first time seeing the cross country course and seeing um, Equestrian Park in its middle, um, middle stage of construction and I think it was there that a lot of people met me from the Japanese Equestrian Federation and later in December 2019 I was formally invited to participate in the Tokyo 20 uh, Olympic Games with the Equestrian. Um, so fast forward to July 2021 and we've set off to Tokyo. Um, so under COVID it was quite difficult um, but they, I think Japan did a wonderful job in getting us there safely. Um, we had, well, I came on in on the busiest day um, because it was three days out from opening ceremony. So um, there are a lot of athletes, a lot of staff coming in to um, work at the games. So after my arrival into Narita via Singapore, um, I had a very long wait. It took me eight hours to get through Narita Airport with all the testing and um, immigration and so I arrived at my hotel at like 7 p.m. at night and we were um, mandated to stay in the hotel until we collected our uniforms the next day. So next day comes around and we um, collect our uniforms from the uniform center and then from there we went to the equestrian park. So my role at the Tokyo Olympic Games was as a technical um, overall technical coordinator um, so what we what my role entailed was I worked with three local staff and we pretty much were coordinating and troubleshooting any issues that arose from um, from like staff and stewards um, a lot of it had to do with COVID how to get people safely home and then we even had all sorts of um, requests from connecting phones to Wi-Fi to calling taxis and that kind of stuff. So we were the main group of people that were responsible for troubleshooting. Um, I did get out to um, Sea Forest Park and I did um, participate in the cross country and I also assisted the stewards um, when necessary because I have a background in stewardship as well. Um, so yeah, and I got to see all of our Christian team um, competing up close and personal which was an amazing experience um, and then for the Paralympic Games um, I was a National Paralympic Committee assistant so I was a volunteer um, and so Paralympics Australia um, procured me from the games so when the games finished I went and quarantined down in uh, Shizuoka which is where the cycling was in the velodrome in the velodrome area and the road cycling down near Mount Fuji so I quarantined for a week there got tested and then when I was cleared I went back to Tokyo and I assisted with all sorts of things anything that the team needed from me I kind of assisted with them so setting up rooms setting up the building decorating um, getting food in and out of the building because um, Australia's allotment was self-sufficient, so our COVID liaison officer mandated that um, all other all the food be catered and brought in. So assisting with um, outside contractors for that, um, collecting mail, um, assisting staff and athletes with any issues that popped up, and liaising with the other volunteers. Uh, as well so that was really really fun and it was up close and personal in the athletes village I got to meet um, 
all um, all athletes from all different kinds of sports, um, which was very different again to working just in equestrian for the Olympic Games. Um, and then I came back and I quarantined with Paralympics Australia and I went through their quarantine program in Sydney and that was really good fun and I still have a lot of friends from that and I'm still in contact with all of our equestrian Australia officials as well from the Olympic Games so yeah and that's that's it and moving forward I don't know what I'm going to do but I'm thinking I'm going to take <laughs> some time off and yeah see what 2022 brings yeah so thanks for listening and thanks for watching and I might see you out there at one of the events one someday soon. Thanks, bye.